I love this place. I was a small girl painting in the street. I was six years old. And everybody came to me and asked me, Katarina, you're probably a small artist. And I said, yes, of course I'm an artist. And then people told me that you should go to the children's art school. And I said, yes, I go. Where is the children's art school? And since then I became an artist. It was very easy. <laughs> I grew up actually in St. Petersburg, in Russia. And we have a beautiful cultural tradition of uh, Hermitage and State Russian Museum. So I was very, very happy to study children art school and fine art academy in St. Petersburg. And then I did my master's degree in art in Düsseldorf in Germany. It's why I moved to first in Germany and I finished my master's degree. And now I'm in New York. All my art is about unity. So I love so much when people connect, inspire each other, have a beautiful ideas and uh, create a beautiful art all together. Probably most 1,000 uh, for sure. I will not say I'm famous, I'm not, but uh, I'm happy with uh, probably like 26 solo museum exhibitions in the world. I'm kind of happy artist. It's no edition at all. Every piece is, everything is just unique. I paint in a photograph with a brush and it's no edition at all. Everything made one. It is photography, I do everything myself. The colors are very important. Red, which is uh, material energy, love, physical love, all good material things around. Yellow, which is light, light and um, inspiration and wisdom of divine real. And blue, which is spirituality. So all these three colors are very important for me. And you see everywhere like two figures. They are always dancing with each other, they are like connecting with each other. It's male and female aspect of the cosmos. And I believe in unity, so this kind of female and male kind of aspect is very important to me. Dance, movement, it's how everything changes in the universe. But actually it's about passport of the universe. It's like very clear, very pure colors with some kind of black lines or something like this. So it's cosmic love. You see, everything is connected, everybody is connected with each other. Yes, Ekaterina. Books? Oh, I have so many books. Yes, it was a retrospective in the State Russian Museum in St. Petersburg in 2004, published by the best Russian art publisher, Palace Edition, actually. Painting, photographs. So it was 90 pieces of my art in the State Russian Museum in uh, St. Petersburg, Russia. So it's, it's National Gallery of Russia, so it's mostly a prestigious place for Russian artists. So. 2009, it's called Ekaterina S. Your Life and Visions. It's about all my different projects in Asia, in China, in India, in Israel, in Iran, Germany, New York, sculptures, video projects, and also a lot of uh, video installations. Screening in Oslo Grand Station in North. So some museum shows you can see. Yes, it was shown in China actually, in Museum this one. Museum Nyavaran Tehran. You're shown all over the world. Everywhere. Uh, yes, I can say I'm kind of citizen of the universe actually. <laughs> You're shown everywhere. You are happy. I'm happy like uh, artist. Was able to do whatever she wanted to do, you know, and she... yes, it's kind of a technique. I put many, many colors one after other, and then I put with knife the color away. So I think we have a lot kind of information for three minutes altogether. It will be nice. and a lot of beautiful, very, very nice people, amazing people actually.